two wave pulses are moving toward each other in the same medium. Which of the following interference patterns could happen at some instant during the interference? You have these answer choices. Let's see. When these two waves overlap completely, so this when this wave gets to here, and that wave gets to here, they overlap exactly, and you add the displacements together using superposition principle, you will get a straight. So one is possible. Now let's see number two. If I put this wave here, and then that wave overlapping with this one halfway, like this. Then, and this hump will be the same as this, and that one is still the same as that, and over here we have twice the dip going down, so it will dip down lower. So number two works as well. Number three is a bit tricky. It may not look right, but if you look at a moment after they have overlapped completely, when the two waves have almost finished passing each other, you will see it could happen. So when this wave has reached the left side, and that wave has reached right side, the waves will look like this. So this part is the same, that part is the same, and then these two peaks overlap and gives us a, a bigger peak. So number three is also correct. So the answer is E. A two meter long string oscillates in five loops at 80 hertz. The wave speed on the string must be 32 meters per second, 64, 160, 200, or 800 meters per second. The string is two meters long and there are five loops. That means uh, the length of one loop is uh, two meters divided by five, two fifths of a meter. And the, the length of one loop is always uh, half a wavelength. So if I multiply by two on both sides, I get the wavelength, which is uh, four fifths of a meter. And what I want is the speed of the wave. Speed is frequency times lambda. And the frequency is uh, 80 when we just found the wavelength to be 4 fifths. So this gives us uh, 320 divided by 5, which is uh, 64 meters per second. So the answer is uh, B.